Welcome everybody. Hello, happy Lionsgate. Ah, oh, so good to see you all. Welcome, welcome. Do let me know that you are there so I can say hello. Who have we got here? I've opened up the chat for you so you can. You use the chat to say hello as well. Welcome to this six figure leap. Ooh. There we go. Catalyst. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. No, oh, I don't know why my computer keeps wanting to do that. Let's move that over there. It's telling us it's time to start the appointment. <laughs> welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to this Six Figure Leap Catalyst on this very, very special Lionsgate portal. How has your Lionsgate been going today? How have you been feeling the energies? I know you're here. You know how powerful Lionsgate is. And of course, it's not just about numerology, but it's also about astrology. The cosmic energies are culminating into just such a tremendous amount of star power that we can harness and tap into today. So we've got a very, very special event for you today. And whilst our sun is responsible for beaming down on our life for our physical bodies, especially when it's in the ruling sign of Leo, Sirius, this is the fixed star, is responsible for beaming down life for our spiritual bodies. The sun behind the sun. So that is why the opening of the Lionsgate portal can bring awakenings and lift our consciousness to new heights because this spiritual sun the rising star of Sirius is in alignment Tina's saying it's so bright here yes it's so bright here so this is why the opening of the Lionsgate portal can bring awakenings and lift our consciousness to, to new heights And Sirius is the star of legends known for bestowing wealth, honor, devotion, passion, creativity. And in ancient Egypt, the rising of Sirius was directly associated with the rising of the Nile River, which would nourish the land and crop sustaining life. So Lion's Gate is a portal for accelerated ascension and major shifts on all levels. And so, of course, we're always creating our realities. But when the gate is open, everything just moves faster with intensified energy. So let's harness this energy. We're going to make a bigger impact in quarter three and quarter four. We're going to activate more wealth today. And it truly is in the deep energetic healing that the transformation required to scale to that next six that next seven figures without compromising our quality of life without frazzling our nervous system and without the subconscious slowing down the results that we desire that's where it's witnessed welcome everybody welcome just gonna stop sharing my screen for a second so that i can See all your beautiful faces. Ah, oh, there we are. Fantastic. So good to see you all. Wonderful. And hello, everyone, on the replay. I know many people have said, I'll see you on the replay. See you on the replay. And for those of you that are new to our world, welcome. You're getting to know me. I'm a success advisor. I'm the creator of the Helix Method, our powerful energy, psychology, and Akashic Records modality. I'm a master Akashic Records channel. Our mission is to help you break through every ceiling in life and, and business. And we also teach and train coaches in the Helix Method where they learn how to create deeper 
transformations with their clients, develop their intuitive gifts and skills so they can create those fast, predictable results across what I call the trifecta of prosperity, wealth, health, and love. This is something that I, I'm really passionate about, and I'll share a little bit about my story in, in a bit. But this is the place to, to dream bigger and to make a bigger impact, fulfilling your purpose and what you came here to do. So thank you so much for, for joining us in the Six Big Elite Catalyst on this very, very special, special day of Lionsgate. And we want to raise our frequency and our vibration because when we do, we're then able to tap into a different timeline of opportunities and possibilities. And we start to see the synchronicities before us. We can we feel in that peak flow state. And it's from that place that we truly co-create with more ease and grace. I know everyone wants that. So I've hopefully got the memo. I've told everybody to allow two hours a day so that there's spaciousness for you to integrate. As there's a lot of energy moving that you'll be receiving, calibrating to. I want today to be a catalyst for you, to, to be what you need to, to feel supported, to feel activated and to calibrate to that next level. Does that sound good? Here's the thing, because we are always manif manifesting. And so it is really important that we are intentional with what we want to manifest. And of course, we consciously know this. And yet, when we haven't fully embodied the consciousness that is required, we find ourselves being really resistant to doing the things that we know that work. And then that has a direct impact on our business success and the impact that we came here to make. So it has that impact, of course, on cash flow. That can start to feel sticky. We're like, what's going on? Then that, of course, you know, frazzles the nervous system, mine too. Or it can kicks in the default pattern of, let me know if this one resonates. I'm going to have to work hard. I'll push through this slow patch to get to the other side. So I'm going to pull out the big guns and push through. Alrighty. So Moses, as you are the host, could you mute everybody, please? And um, so we've got a clean recording for everyone. And if you are uh, recognizing you are off mute, please put yourself back on mute. And Mo, if you could also in the uh, participants uh, market so that people can't turn the mute, uh, turn themselves back on again, if that makes sense by mistake, just because when we're in it, I don't want people to suddenly have. I don't know, like a fire alarm going off or a telephone suddenly suddenly ringing and disturbing celebrating. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. We've got everyone set up. That's beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you for your understanding with that. Hopefully that will give everyone a, a clean recording and you can stay stay in the zone because we really want to be able to, this to be an activation for you so that you can allow this to be the moment in time where you stop rinsing and repeating those old patterns that you've actually probably wanted to have let go for a very long time. It's time to go deeper and to fully embody the consciousness required for your next six and seven figures with, with ease. So I want you to just take a moment To think about what consciousness, what frequency is required for your next, your, whether that's coming in in a day, in a, a week, a month, a year. Just to take a moment to consider that for you and, and your business. And whilst the business strategies, of course, are going to look very different to grow to these next income levels depending on where your business is right now you still required leadership's going to look different but truly when you focus and nurture these you will grow to your next six and seven figures within in a peak flow state 
So we're going to find out how in alignment you are with these divine success codes. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide so that you can find out what is hidden. We'll start to heal the energetic blocks together. This is going to have a massive ripple effect across your prosperity consciousness. We're going to go deep, deep today. We need to clear this. Your programming. Okay, we've got a sound issue here. Is everyone telling me we've got a sound issue? Let me know in the... Is anyone else experiencing stuttering and pausing? Yeah, okay. Bear with us a second. The Wi-Fi is looking good here. The last time we did this, there was a lot of energy <laughs> moving through and we broke the internet again. So we're just going to take a moment to set our intentions. So if I can just ask everybody to call all of their energy back. So call all of your energy back to you right now. Are you fully whole in your body? And taking a moment just to give yourself a couple of letting go breaths. And taking a moment to set your intention for why you're here. How have you found yourself here today? What was your intention when you were like, yes, I'm going to register for that? How do you want to feel at the end of our time together? Allowing yourself just to, to breathe through that. Anchoring this in. And let me know in the, the comments, how do you want to feel at the end of our time together? And in a moment, I'm going to get you to connect in with your financial intention. I'm just going to do a little check-in to see if the sound has sorted itself out. Okay. Oh, I love all these. These are awesome. Okay. Being happy, ready to receive with ease, open to allowing receiving. Thank you, Glenda. Amazing. Setting the intentions. How powerful we are when we are intentional with our energy. I love that, emerge into the light, successful, empowered and wealthy. Yes, 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 okay, this is awesome. Oh, so my intention that this is this training, this wealth activation serves you. I've been coaching for over, over 20 years now. <laughs> Over the past eight years in my in my own company, we've helped thousands of entrepreneurs to success, successfully lift the, the ceiling in their life and their business. And whenever I'm working with six and seven figure business owners, if there is stickiness in the growth or a lack of fulfillment, it always comes down to our energetic alignment or misalignment in our consciousness and what we or what we are aligned to, the thoughts that we're thinking the beliefs that are buried in our subconscious, the emotions that we're feeling as it relates to what we're seeing in our reality, how the nervous system is triggered, and then the vision that we have in our mind's eye for our business. So for change and growth to happen in our business, we have to be energetically aligned to the expansion that we desire and embody a new level of wealth and leadership consciousness. Let's have Lionsgate Portal kick off the biggest quarter of the year for you without working, without working harder. How did that sound? So we're going to be diving into some deep energetics today so that we can start to get you aligned to the divine success codes 
And then for those of you that want to continue together at the end, I'll share how you can do that. You can choose the most aligned step, next step for you, for your, you know, for your growth and evolution. And I'm very excited about this. I'm launching something new. And you guys are the first to hear about it. I will reveal all at the end. <laughs> so right now, let's focus on you and these intentions that you're setting and how you want to feel at the end of our time together. So this is for you if you are, you know, you want to have massive impact and profitability in this next quarter, quarter three and quarter four. Perhaps you're already hitting your goals, but you sense that there's more, you're only scratching the surface. Perhaps you're already in flow and you're like, you're having the success you're designing, you're like, I want this to continue. So as we start to get into this, just invite you just to do a quick check to make sure any mobile phones are turned off so you're not distracted, that you're able to have your full attention on your intention so you can fully receive My intention is that everybody here breaks through every ceiling, calibrates their higher self. So that higher self and our conscious mind and subconscious are all in alignment for our manifestation. Let's activate and hold that peak flow state so we can have some fun co-creating with the, with the universe. So I know you're going to absolutely love this. I'd love to know actually who here has been to one of our events before. Who's here for the first time? Let me know in the comments. I welcome everybody. Welcome, Laura's. Kathy, I see you. Welcome, Carrie. Welcome, Monica. Welcome, 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 everybody. So what we're up to today is we're expanding your wealth consciousness. We're going to unlock what's been previously hidden from your conscious mind, tucked away somatically in your nervous system. All of that's going to be impacting your human Wi-Fi, that signal that you're sending out to the universe. And I'm going to give you some context with the six divine success codes that I'm going to share with you. So that you can start to see how they've been, how by embodying them, you'll be able to more powerfully co-create. Does that sound good? I've been doing this a long time now, as I mentioned, over over 20 years and over the, the last eight years, have built our company to uh, multi-six figures, which has just been amazing. We're currently in Thailand now, which is fantastic. I'm here with my my two sons who are digital nomading as, as well. And I'm so passionate about what I share because of course, over the eight years, there've been seasons in my business like any other of growth, of expansion, of profit, profitability, of contraction, of evolution. And for those of you that are new to our world, my background is I went from a very successful career in the public sector, leading on high profile contracts, working closely with the police, with the NHS, with the politicians, mm -hmm. developing multi million pound services. But I had no time to be with my sons. And this just created a, a growing feeling of, of emptiness. And there wasn't enough money at the end of the month, and the stress was all showing up in my body. To having completely reinvented myself and, and created a new reality. If I didn't have the courage to have left social services, like I wouldn't be in Thailand now, you know, it's amazing. Wouldn't have been able to have made the impact that I have been able to make so far. And there's so much more impact to, to make. And for me, that journey was really recognizing that along the way, you know, we're always creating our reality. And it was my father's death that was that first big turning point for me to really make the decision, right, this is time, this is time. I've got to put an, an end to this endless working and missing out on all the good things in life. And like so many in corporate, I ended up with burnout, chronic fatigue, shingles, 
wasn't lost on me that you know my father's ill, Ill health started with a bout of shingles so I paid attention to that let me know if it resonates in the comments if you've ever had uh, burnout because I find so many people do hawk has got a lot to answer for so for me I realized I wasn't willing to pay the cost of my health any longer and I wanted to do things differently for my you know my own life my family so that was one of the that final push to 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 do something drastically different and I left in 2016, which is just bonkers. <laughs> I think about how, how long ago that was now. And I completely reinvented myself and my identity. This is so key, my identity and the, and the experiences that I was attracting into my life. And my journey continued, continues, of course, and has created such a different lifestyle for my sons, who are now both working for the company as well. I wanted to create more expansion in our life and, and realize that, you know, where we were living in Lewis was fantastic when the my sons were growing up it, it really was it became restrictive in terms of you know where we were locally so we decided to change our location and leave the UK as you do <laughs> but it's been a fantastic fantastic journey I love I love traveling but of course along that way you know uh, my my nervous system was was triggered at certain points you know packing up the house leaving our cat babies behind moving countries, running a business, managing my mum's anxiety that I'd left the country and all these things. And actually, they've all gone relatively smoothly. But what I'll teach you today will help you to expand your capacity within your nervous system and, and to develop emotional resilience so that you can hold the higher frequency for longer as you navigate all the all the life stuff that, that happens. So my programming was setting my course for a very different path I grew up in a, a middle class family in London where you worked really really hard for your money and it was respected to work hard I don't know if anyone else has that sort of success badge in the family is that you're really successful if you're working really really hard and you have the discipline and you do what you're told this was programming the you know the illusion my mum and dad were very loving and I'm very blessed to have them as, as as parents. But, you know, we had our challenges growing up. Of course, my parents were holding their own generational and personal trauma as well. That impacted, you know, them in their childhood and it showed up in the ways that they were parenting. And of course, that all had an impact on me. And then I was bullied at, at primary school. So I grew up actually having a feeling very unworthy and, and vulnerable at times, confused and my people pleased as a way to stay safe nothing was ever good enough and actually home didn't feel safe at times and school didn't feel safe at times and so this people pleasing was a, a trauma response does that resonate for anyone else as well what i know is that throughout all of this experience what i know to be true is that my energetic vibration my own human wi-fi of electromagnetic energy that's made up of all my thoughts and emotions and experiences created my reality and my perception of my experience creating my behavior and my emotions and my identity, this, this feedback loop. And the thing is, even if we don't think we're sending out a misaligned signal to the universe, if we're not getting what we desire from our life and our business, then our experience in reality is showing us where the misalignments are, where there are hidden conflicts, running much deeper than we think. So to live at our ultimate ultimate potential to live in alignment with our soul blueprint and to be able to manifest our next level of aligned success in life and business we need to bring ourselves in resonance with our desires and our frequency needs to be a match this means we've got to reprogram our human wi-fi so that we're attracting what we want to attract in in life and bringing the different layers of our consciousness into into alignment it's all held in our energy field. Every thought, memory, emotion, experience that we've ever held or had across all lifetimes is imprinted into our personal Akashic record. And the Akashic records, let me know in the comments if you've heard of the Akashic records before, you've had experience with the Akashic records, new to this. If you're new to this, just think of the Akashic records as an etheric database that stores all the information about everything, <laughs> every living being, think of it like a spiritual Google. And the Akashic records of our soul is a holographic matrix that's held within the cellular structure of our physical body. 
and each of the 12 layers of our aura. And there is a spiritual cord of connection that connects our physical body, our human experience to our oversoul and all that is. And this spiritual cord is an infinite connection to our Akashic record and the collective Akasha. And when we're doing the energy healing and the manifesting of the Helix Method, we're imprinting into our Akashic record and changing our frequency and therefore our experience of reality. This, the principles that I'm going to share with you and what I'm teaching today help me break through my upper limits and to continue to evolve through my upper limits. And what I teach in the inner circle is how I transform my relationship with money, develop my consciousness for the success that I have today. And of course, I continue to work so we can continue to ex expand my wealth consciousness so I can make a bigger impact and help more people. So who's up for some energetics? imprinting into your Akashic record the success. Oh, well, you're going to start to activate these. But these codes, they require your intention. They require your consistent nurturing for your continued expansion. <laughs> me, me, me. So I'm going to take you through these and then I'll show you. I'm going to use muscle testing, the sway technique, to be able to uncover what it what is hidden. So I'm gonna take you through these. Alrighty, so I'm gonna see if I can share my uh, screen again. Alrighty, perfect. Okay, so we wanna set a financial intention so that we are setting it right here, right now in Lionsgate on this incredible, day so inviting you to think about what is your financial intention for the next 30 days what is your financial goal for this year just to start to bring this intention into your awareness as we explore these six success codes these divine codes that will enable you when you have embodied them to be in that peak flow state and to be able to hold it for longer, being fully resourced, supporting your growth spurts. And when you embody these, you're embodying your higher self-consciousness. This is what we are up to with our Helix methodology. So I'd love to know if you're up for sharing, sharing in the in the chat, what's your intention for the next 30 days? Financial intention, let's witness so we can say, I see that for you. Okay, awesome, I see that for you. Brilliant, I see that for you, I see that for you. 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I love it. And as we tune into this, just inviting you to think about the power of words. We're going to be restoring our coding to the divine definition. So what I mean by that is the intended definition, the intended energy helps us with creating a coherent energetic signal. As we spell with our words, we create with our words. If we think of the word and the meaning of the ancient word abracadabra, it is very powerful when we think about actually, it says what we do on the tin as it were. Abra is the Aramaic equivalent of the Hebrew Avra, meaning I will create, while Kadabra is the Aramaic equivalent of the Hebrew Kiduba, meaning as was spoken. So it means I will create as has been spoken. So what are you creating with your intention? What have you just spoken? So I invite you to use the power of the word, feel into the frequency of this, like abracadabra, I create as I speak. It's a very high frequency word. 
Type it in the chat, abracadabra, if you connect with it. So this is an invitation to listen to the words that you're using, the intention behind the words and the awareness that we we create our realities with our words. The frequency. Behind those words. So as we go through this, I'm going to create some space you can journal and contemplate these codes and what they mean for you. Love all these abracadabras. Abracadabra, abracadabra. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alrighty, so the first one is divine love. All creation comes from this energy. Our souls were born from this energy of source to experience itself. We create our lives to experience more ourselves more fully within different life circumstances. And at the heart of this desire is to grow with self-love, to know that love is given and that we are loved. We realign to divine love by putting our relationships with ourselves first, offering ourselves opportunity for, for fun, fulfillment and joy. If we think about how we create things, when we when our manifestations are created in divine love, they are embodied with the infinite intelligence and fulfillment of our purpose. Expressing love is part of our soul's purpose. And being able to share love in our unique way, our unique language of love. So as we contemplate divine love, I invite you to think about how can you create a loving environment for your manifestation? So what I mean by that is what, what you're creating, the projects that you're working on. Perhaps it's a, a new house. Perhaps it's a, giving your body a bit of an upgrade. How can you create a loving environment for your manifestations? And for your six-figure leap, how can you create a loving environment for that next 250K that is coming in? That financial intention you just spoke of, abracadabra, a moment ago. So just inviting you just to be with this question for a moment. Notice what comes to you. Ah, manifested well here. Yes. Ah, and relax. <laughs> so how can you, if you think about what would look like a loving environment? If you're creating a coaching offer, for example, Tina was just asking for an example. How can you feel that you are in a loving environment whilst you're creating that offer? So think of it from that perspective. How can you create a loving environment for the clients that are coming in? How can you bring more love in? So we can be really intentional with the frequencies that we're putting into our creations. Does that make sense? So if you know your love language, thinking about what is your love language and how can you show yourself love by bringing in, if it's acts of service, giving yourself an acts of service or words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. I love it. Thank you for sharing these in the chat, it will inspire others. To bring those ideas of love. Yes, fall in love with the clients that are coming in. 
Absolutely. Yes, 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 Theo. So as you're thinking about your manifestations and then thinking about how can you create a loving environment for that next 250K that's coming in. So if you're thinking about how will you know that that money's come in, do you have a spreadsheet tracker? That might not be the you know, funnest thing to have a look at, but actually where you're, are you paying attention to the money that's coming in already? And when you're paying attention to that, having a money date with yourself, is it feeling like a very loving experience or is it like, oh no, I've got to look at my figures and feeling wonky and yucky and you don't want to do it and you keep putting it at the bottom of the, of the pile. Does that make sense? How can you bring more love in when you're looking at your money? And as you're looking at this, invite you to go, okay, so what is the top priority? Circle that. That's like one action you're going to take from today. We'll, we'll take an action, a priority action. You can do all of the actions that you identify, of course, but take a priority action. It's like, that's the most important one for me to do right now. Mm, yes. How can I serve my clients even better daily? beautiful question to live in the energy of so many inspired ideas are going to come down mm. yeah all right hi care yes treating money like a trusted and much loved friend Beautiful. So much wisdom in the chat. I love it already. So let's tune in to now divine, the next one, divine radiance, divine light. So we're experiencing ourselves as spiritual beings in a physical reality. We experience our divinity through divine light and when we're out of alignment we're focused too much on the on the physical stuff and that's where we may experience a disconnection or a, a, a depression and we realign through our spiritual practice so thinking of ourselves as light being we are actually we're radiating we're radiating our frequency if we think of it as we're always radiating a frequency, which in turn then attract, attracts. To think about, okay, so in this moment and over the last three months, what frequency have I been radiating? Is what I'm radiating creating the reality the mirror I desire. So just inviting you just to consider what frequency have you been, ra been radiating and to think about all facets of abundance. Your relationships. Money. Time. your career, your work. Just to take a moment just to see what's been the dominant frequency you've been radiating. And when we think of we are here to fulfill our soul's purpose, to express love, radiate love, to make the impact that we came here to make, whatever that is, because it's going to be different for each and every one of us, is to think about within this success code is how are you taking care of your consciousness to fill, fulfill your purpose? So we've got some reflections coming in. This is awesome.
wanting to create more stability in the higher frequencies and stay there. Yes. Sylvie's radiating joy. So what frequency are you radiating? Is there consistency? What one, what area is jumping up at you going? <laughs> Pick me if I need to be, have some attention. How are you taking care of your consciousness to fulfill your purpose? Yes, I love this. I love this. It's just so exciting as I'm seeing all your names popping up. I want to say hello to everybody individually. <laughs> So no, I'm sending you a telepathic hello. Alrighty. Okay, so we want to increase the, the flow state and increase the consistency. So how can we bring in more divine love and radiate that divine love? This is beautiful. Yes. Alrighty, let's move on to the, the third one. Divine truth. So the energy of divine truth shows us which path is going to lead us to the fulfillment of our highest path and purpose. So how do we align to divine truth? Well, we need to let go of being right or holding on, being attached to the way something happens. So we loosen our grip. Loosening our grip on what we hold to be truth. Because we are open to possibilities of truth and aware of our unity within our journeys. We are one. We are one. We access truth in our alignment with our higher self through the Akashic record. So as we're thinking about divine truth and what that code means in our lives, I invite you to contemplate, how are you amplifying your connection with your higher self? Have you got dedicated time each day? practice that I'm going to share with you in a moment is a great way to amplify your connection with your higher self. I know many, many of our clients are doing this daily. You see the impact of frequency going through the roof. Vibrations high. So is this an area when you're thinking about divine truth in your life and in business? Is this an area that you could bring in more truth? Your higher self, consciousness, We have our, so questions come in saying, what is your higher self, please? So we have our different layers of our consciousness. We have our higher self, our conscious mind, and our subconscious. Subconscious is holding all the programming, identity pieces. It's running the show with a 100% success rate unless we take control. And our higher self, our, our people use the term interchangeably with our soul. We want to embody our higher self, our pureness, who we truly are is our higher self, not the programming from the subconscious, not the conscious mind. So how can we be more of our higher self? And it is through these codes that we will embody our higher self, our soul. Hope that answers your question. 
Alrighty. Yes. Divine truth is to be able to distinguish between the truth and distortion that others want us to believe. Yeah. Alrighty. Right, you need to think in now the code of divine abundance. So this is, we know there's enough for everyone. We can create out of joyful desire from a place of already having more than enough. And we fully expect our desires to manifest in the physical world, the law of assumption. And we can realign to divine abundance through giving and blessing all the resources we already have. Even if we just look around the rooms that we're all sitting in, there's resources all around us. Or we have purchased things through resources that were available to us. We're surrounded by abundance. We can bless those pieces of our environment, raising the frequency instantly. So inviting you to think about what is your relationship with your resources of divine time, divine relationships, divine money, and divine energy. So to think of these, uh, so divine time is infinite and your creation is in your highest timeline, your ability to be present, to feel safe to actually be present in this moment, thinking about something you've got to do, worrying, feeling depressed about something in the past, worrying about the future. Being here now, that ability to be. So what's your relationship like with divine time? And divine energy. Think of this as your radiance, your health, your vitality, your body as the vessel for your soul's experience. It's your relationship. With divine energy. Does it feel good? Does it feel light? Does it feel a little bit heavy? Divine money. Have you got a divine partnership where through partnering with money truly not feeling like money is apparent or has got one over on you. Being able to enjoy the facets of money. You can make money and you can let money work for you. You can receive more money. And truly, the more money that we receive, where we are feeling financially relaxed, creates the experience of more of who you truly are. True self is your abundant self. You haven't got enough time, haven't got enough money, haven't got enough energy is your stressed out self. That's just a reaction of the nervous system. It's not who you truly are. This is why this is so important so we can live our lives being, being who we truly are, not our stressed out version of ourselves. Find relationships. Are you allowing support and connection with others? Do you have securely attached relationships? Molecules together, fire together. Your inner circle for your business success is key. Your mentors, your team members. Which one are you as one that needs a bit of divine love? Let us know in the comments which one beautiful.
Alrighty. Which is your priority out of those facets of divine abundance, divine time, divine relationships, divine money, divine energy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Beautiful. Alrighty. How are you? How embodied are you with divine power? Divine power. This gives us free will and choice creators we've got the choices and we are realigned to divine power by taking full energetic responsibility for our life experiences whether we've created them consciously or unconsciously so inviting you to consider how can i take full energetic responsibility for my current rea reality we create our reality we have choice divine power is about choice how embodied are we with divine power so we realign to divine power by taking full energetic responsibility for our life experiences So I invite you to contemplate these two questions. How can I take full energetic responsibility for my current reality? If we don't take full energetic responsibility, then we can't heal completely and let it go. This is really important. How can I bring in more divine power with full energetically responsibility for my creation? I'll just take a moment to answer those questions on the screen. Let me know in the comments what is coming to you. Is there some work to do on boundaries? Yes, yeah. These are great reflections in the chat of how you can bring in more divine power. Alrighty. Okay, beautiful. I'm gonna invite you now to contemplate Divine joy. Being able to embody divine joy is the ability and the maturity of your soul to be able to relate in the most blissful state in all of your relations. Your relationship with everybody in this community, other souls, with life itself. We're alive. It's amazing. With God governing over soul deities, source, universe, whatever the language that is right for you. That relation between all of life and you is that non-material happiness that's where we truly experience bliss and joy in each moment
and being able to recognize that we have the duality in life, the horrors that our fellow souls are maybe experiencing. How can we be a contribution by raising the frequency and creating through the frequency of pleasure and joy? Think about what is mine to do. So as you contemplate this, to think about what matters to you the most. What gives you joy? Where is there a noise, friction in your life? Where actually by simplifying, you'll amplify your results and your impact. Just taking a moment just to contemplate what does divine joy mean to you? And how can you how can you have more joy? Mm. Joy when I see a spark in my daughter's eye. Yes. And my daughter especially the woods and streams. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Another partial to our view from our villa at the moment. The the sea was like glass today. It was just like a mirror, so flat, stunning. Complete joy seeing it. Alrighty, so this feels like a list of things that give you joy that you can bring more of into your life. So as you're looking back over these six success codes, inviting you again just to circle, okay, so what's my priority in each area? What can I make as an action so that I can start to embody these? Mm. How can you bring in more joy? Creating a leap in success comes from fully embodying these codes in our, our creation and, and noticing where we're out of alignment and taking the aligned action to create reality through the embodiment of these codes. This is the embodiment of, of our higher self-consciousness. Of course, there's so many layers and nuances to this, which I dive in deeply with my, with my clients. We're going to start to get you calibrated to these divine success codes to create the consciousness of your future self so you become an energetic match to your desires does that sound good so excited to do this with you so i have a guide for you mo could you drop the link in the comments for everybody i'm going to speak to this and i'll guide you through on the screen as well i just want to make sure everyone's got the got the guide We're going to be doing some helixing. And in the helix method, this is a world-class energy psychology modality. It's rooted, rooted in science and spirituality. And in it, we balance the deep inner healing work in your Akashic record as we're impacting all 12 layers of your energy body, the spiritual cord of connection alongside impactful manifestation rituals. So we're expanding your consciousness elevating your vibrational attraction point. So we're going to introduce you to one of our Helix methodologies now. We're going to unlock what's held in your subconscious and use energy kinesiology or muscle testing. So we use the sway technique in the Helix method predominantly so we can find out what is hidden. And then we use the power of intention, invocation and breath work to release what isn't serving and to align to what will create the reality we desire so that activates that peak flow state. So you'll see in the guide that we've got the steps laid out for you. Starts with a summary of the six divine success codes for you as well. And then I'm going to lead you through our helixing. We're going to be doing some healing of the energetic blocks, that misalignment with the divine success codes. We're going to actually find out so you can see how aligned you are to them and start to clear that. And then we'll do a manifesting ritual to start to really activate that 
divine love code. So our steps are, I'm going to guide you through a higher self invocation. Then we're going to do the energy testing or the muscle testing with the sway technique. Let me know in the comments if you have, haven't used the sway technique before. I'll give you a quick run through so you can test it out. So we're going to uncover what is hidden. Then we're going to clear them with our way of releasing through intention setting and our releasing statement, abracadabra. We create with our words, so very powerful releasing statement. And then I'll guide you through, we'll create that coherence in your field with our imprinting in, into your future self-consciousness. Does that sound good? I <laughs> love it. Athanasius is saying, yes, and it works like the magic wand. Yes, 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 yes. All righty. You are in for a treat. Okay, so I'm going to do our higher self invocation first, and then we'll... I'll give you a heads up on the flow for the for the muscle testing and the questions that you're going to ask. All right, so just taking a moment, just inviting you now to close your eyes and to create an intention of connection through your breath and to increase your life force energy through your breath. I'm doing this by breathing in for four, holding for four and breathing out for eight. And just to do this at your own pace three times. And bringing your awareness just through your intention to your soul star chakra about 18 inches above your head. This is your gateway to your Akashic record. Then you can say this out loud or silently. I'll say it out loud so you can follow along. You have your eyes closed. And listening to the words and what the words mean. Speaking to all levels of my consciousness. I intend that in the name of divine truth, divine love, divine light, let all information come from my higher self and be in alignment with my divine truth for my highest good and the highest good of all. I am creating a clear channel of communication and manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self so that they are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just note how that feels in your body. And from this space, we're going to energy test with the sway technique. And to do this, if you are new to it, you simply will be saying statements out loud and seeing if you get a yes or no response from your body. This is how you uncover what is hidden. And to do this, you stand with your feet hip width apart, relax your knees, close your eyes. You say the statement out loud. That's how you discover what is hidden in your consciousness because your body's going to respond. So typically a forward sway is a yes, a backward sway is a no. You will have a somatic response as your subconscious will start to speak to you through your body and your energy when you think about this topic that we're going to start to muscle test on and you say these statements out loud mm -hmm. these somatic responses are going to help you to connect with the with the the blocks the resistance so you can witness it as it goes so as you're doing this and saying the statements out loud i invite you just to 
give yourself a little body scan and notice how do I feel? Can I feel any temperature changes, any resistance in my body? Perhaps somebody will suddenly flash into your mind's eye. Just to allow yourself to, to pay attention. Notice what you notice. We all have limiting beliefs, resistances, fears, trap traumas that can bubble up. So we're going to muscle test around these codes to find out what is hidden. And muscle testing works because your thoughts and emotions produce a certain response in your nervous system that's connected to your brain, affecting the movement in your body. So to program yourself, if you haven't done this before, your body is gonna typically go forwards for a yes when it's in agreement with something. But what you can do, what we're doing is we're using your body as a, as a pendulum. So to set yourself up for success, if you've never done it before, just in that relaxing standing position, start to say yes, 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 yes. And then wait for a moment and just notice if you can feel that pull, that magnetic pull pulling you forward. And then to say no, 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 no. And see if you can feel yourself going backwards. And a great way to get your baseline is to say things you know to be true, like, my name is Louisa Havers, I will go forwards on that. My conscious mind isn't going to go, but are you really? Like, did you make that up? If you get those thoughts, just know you've come up into your head. And we want to get you back down into that relaxed state, connected in with your higher self. So just breathe in for four. Breathe in out for four and just allow the process to see what you see alrighty so once you've got your baseline response then a bottle of fizzy water you've got the cap on it you can't see the fizzes you unscrew the cap you release all the bubbles they start to come up to be released and experience so you are safe to release these all righty everyone clear on the sway technique so i'm going to invite you to energy test these okay so the first one is i read these out loud as well and they are in the um the guide as well so you're going to say i i have got resistance to receiving the chunk of change that you want to call in over the next 30 days. So I've got resistance receiving over 100K over the next 30 days, whatever it is for you. See if you get a yes or no, make a note. Then you're going to say, I've got an energy reversal. This is where your energy is going backwards. It's going in the wrong direction. This typically comes from like a trauma or some place where you didn't have a coping mechanism for an experience. So if you say, I have got an energy reversal preventing me from receiving... 100k in 30 days whatever it is again notice do you go forwards or backwards you go side to side or round and round or just like a plank like you've got an end reversal again just observe and notice the somatic responses as you're doing this so this isn't about like trying to do it really really quickly this is actually like really listening to your body and then i'm going to invite you to do these three statements for each of the divine success codes so you're going to say in my relationship with money i am fully aligned with the success code of divine love then you're going to say see and make a note you get a yes or a no then you're going to say in my relationship with money i have resistance with divine love and see if you get a yes and a no in my relationship with money i have an energy reversal with divine love see what you get so you're going to ask those three it's not, not maybe yes and it's not, not a no then it's likely to be an energy battle which you can note of that nothing big on here and then once you've done divine love you're going to ask those same questions and do it for divine radiance do, and then do the same for divine truth divine abundance 
divine power, divine joy. Does that make sense? So you're asking, I am fully aligned. I have resistance. I have an energy reversal for each of those six success codes. We're going to make a little energetic list of where there is incoherence in your energy field so that we can get you into alignment. Alrighty, so I'm going to pop some music on and let me know in the comments when you have completed. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to, to do this unless I suddenly get loads of people saying I've completed. <laughs> so you've got plenty of time to do this. Ask me questions if you're getting stuck or something's happening and you're, you're not moving, <laughs> all the things. We'll get you moving. And then I'll guide you through the, the, the next piece. Where's the, where's the music on? Let's pop some music on. <laughs> yes, if you get a neutral, then make a note of it could be an energy reversal. You're not moving backwards or forwards. I'm on Yes, notice if you are almost falling asleep that your nervous system may be triggered into collapse. Trying to protect you as it knows you're going to change. Remember the subconscious, have a 100% success rate, I'm not going to keep things the same. So say something like, I'm noticing that I'm tired, my nervous system. Finding it way back down. Don't do all this work, it's gonna change things. Safe, calm, I choose to do this. Saying that's gonna be really helpful to kind of help you do so that you can lessen that resistance and allow yourself to do. Wanting a reminder of the definition of the codes that in your guide. There.
wondering if you don't know if you think of the you're either going yes or no for something with for example with divine abundance if you're not moving then can you ask hey i have an energy reversal with divine abundance if you go forwards or backwards or if you still stay neutral still stay neutral it's likely an energy reversal I found lots of resistances. Okay, dokie. Good, well, we got you covered. We're going to get you out of resistance. We're going to get you into alignment. Okay, awesome. It's so helpful to see where everyone's at. So please do share in the in the in the chat. And this is why I teach people to go three to five layers deep. So often I see people muscle testing and they ask one question and it's like, that is not going to give you a <laughs> clear answer. We need to ask a cluster of questions so that we can get that full picture. So this is why we go three to five layers deep. You made up a new word there, Dana. <laughs> okay, correct. Yes, so we can have the duality because there's different layers of our consciousness that one part may be, the other part might not be, which again is why we want to. So if you're like, but I'm in alignment and I have energy reversals, yes. When we're asking a, a, a basket for questions. So we can get that clear picture. What we'll be doing in a moment is taking each one in turn into the starting to do it. Everyone can keep the food and ask the testing. Anyone still got a few people things to do. interesting joe was saying it's like not to seem to be in alignment but then the energy reversal was loud how you can have uh, different amounts of energy between uh, behind the sway so some sways will be very subtle and soft and others will be really loud and the magnetic pull will be huge the more energy there is behind something the bigger the way Course, if you're brand new to this as well you may find your sway is very small very subtle wait get bigger bring in a moment how to release these And there's going to be two things that we're going to start to do in a moment for these are laid out in your guide as well. I'm going to be holding some like points to support the release thing. You can let me know in the chat if you have this the energy testing some resistance and reversal okay this is going to be powerful um, let's move on if you do have any more to do just to make a note where you're at and then you can circle back always and Thank you, Jimmy. Ready. Ready. 
So let's move on now to the releasing. Moment. Okay, so as we're releasing abracadabra, the releasing statement is I'm ready to release this belief, this emotion, this, this experience. I release and delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. As you say that, I'm inviting you to hold CV17. Just using your left hand, just finding that point there. It could be slightly softer. It's that point that's slightly soft in the between in between your ribs. So we use that for beliefs and emotions, and then for energy reversals, we're going to use the karate chop. So you might be familiar with this from EFT. You're just going to tap on that point as you're doing the releasing statement. That just speeds speeds it all up already. So now this is what we're going to be doing. So I've got the overarching releasing statement at the top there. And then the different phrases that you can bring in. And whether you're using CV17 or the karate chop. So if you've got resistance to receiving your 100k over the next 30 days, you're going to hold CV17. And then you're going to say the releasing statement three times. Now I like to do it once out loud and then twice internally so I can really focus on my somatic responses and how my body is feeling hearing these thoughts, these voices in my head. So we'd say I'm ready to release the resistance to receiving over 100K in the next 30 days whilst holding CV17. I release and delete this from all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. And just breathe in for four, breathe out for four and then you say it again. Does that make sense? If you've got an energy reversal, you're going to say, I'm ready to release this energy reversal, preventing me from receiving 100K in 30 days as you're doing the karate chop. Now, if you've got a, a no response to being fully aligned with the success code of divine love, same thing for divine radiance, divine truth, then you're not going to say not. <laughs> you're going to say and for the teachers out there, this is grammatically incorrect, but the subconscious loves it. <laughs> so they're going to say, I'm ready to release. In my relationship, I am fully aligned with the success code of divine love. No. I release and delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. We say it in this way because this isn't for everybody, but many people's subconscious doesn't hear not so i'm not aligned it wouldn't hear it it does hear no and it knows that because it gave you a no when you when you muscle tested does that make sense Alrighty. so here are your releasing statements abracadabra and then the reminder of the six success codes at the bottom there so that you can swap them out with the phrases as as appropriate does that make sense Ready, so I'm going to give you some time now to, to do this. I'm going to say this one out loud for you for the first one, particularly for those of you who haven't done this before, so you can follow along. And if I do the one for the resistance to receiving 100K, let's say, over the next 30 days, I'll say it out loud and you just swap out the words for whatever it is that you're, you're doing. Alrighty? Okay, so just inviting you to breathe in for four. Breathe out for four. Holding CV17 with your left hand. I'm ready to release this resistance to receiving over 100K over the next 30 days. I release and delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Take a nice deep breath in, 
and out. Now silently say this. I'll say it out loud once you can follow along if you've got your eyes closed. But I invite you to try it silently. I'm ready to release this resistance to receiving over 100k over the next 30 days. I release and delete this from all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Taking a nice deep breath in and out. Noticing how your body's responding. Again, I'm ready to release this resistance to receiving over 100k over the next 30 days. I release and delete this from all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Just taking a nice deep breath in and out. invite you now to take these next five minutes to release and delete all the ones on your list any questions post them in the chat and I'll give you a heads up when we're coming back together Yes, the sentence that made no grammatical sense. <laughs> that is the third bullet point. So in my relationship with money, I'm fully aligned with the success code of divine love. No, you would say that if when you were muscle testing, you got a no on that one. So you can clear it so you can become fully aligned to it. So to release that, you would say, I'm ready to release. In my relationship with money, I am fully aligned with the success code of divine love. No, I release this from all dimensions, lane, times, levels of consciousness. Make sense? If you don't have resistance to something, you don't need to release it. I don't need to do that one. It's all good. You've got it. Welcome. different layers within this so there's layers of beliefs there's layers of emotions and resistance typically is protecting of core fear and part of your identity so we want to go deep and ask and release from a basket of indicators so often people are it's like can I, can I do it quickly can you feel the resistance coming in 
I'm gonna just do it quickly. Subconscious is going, yeah, she's not gonna do it properly. <laughs> she's going to try and shortcut it. Intention behind what you're doing is the most important piece within this. Of course. That's why we really wanna get down into that breath. Allowing yourself to time. That makes sense. You wanna cover all the other. Like we go three to five layers deep when we're doing the releasing, as we're doing the imprinting, we do it with a basket of imprints so that we're really building up that energy around those thought entities, the, the thought clouds that are little bubbles of energy in our energy field. We want to really amplify them and make them bigger, create a cluster of them so they're more magnetic. Got uh, energy reversal to do with divine radiance. You could say, in my relationship with money, to say, I'm ready to release in my relationship with money. Energy reversal, divine radiance. I release and delete this from all dimensions, times. Make sense. Then for divine truth, I'm ready to release. Related to money, energy reversal to find truth. I release and delete this all dimensions, planes, just I'm going to keep going for another minute or so, and then we'll come back together to do the alignment. If there is a few more to do, just make a note where you've got up to so you can continue afterwards. <laughs> my little brain can't cope with the reverse grammar <laughs> yeah it's funny how the resistance will come in in ways to keep things the same Yay, you were all cleared and aligned. What a wonderful way to celebrate and create on 888. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, you feel the release slightly heady. Okay, awesome. So if at any point, whoop, that's our time to, to, to move on to the next bit. If at any point you're feeling slightly ungrounded, then inviting you to just bring your awareness down to the soles of your feet imagining roots coming out through the soles of your feet that will bring you back into your body Alrighty, my friends so we're going to start to manifest and to create so as i said if you have a few more to do just make a note of where you got up to now we're going to start now doing our inner rewiring technique and then we'll move on to our outloud rewiring technique so the further inner rewiring for one minute for each of these i'm going to invite you to think these thoughts just to repeat them, notice how they feel in your body. You're just gonna say them over and over. This isn't about trying to say them really, really quickly. This is about saying them and feeling them and feeling how they have an imprint on your body. I'm gonna use my little timer thing. 
so that I can give you a heads up because we're going to do one minute each. So the first one is I'm the kind of person who has 100k cash months, 10k cash months, 2k cash months, whatever the amount is for you. I know everyone here is at different stages of business. That's going to be the first one. You're going to repeat it for a minute and then I'll say, right, we're moving on to the next one. Then it's I'm aligned with divine love. Love circulates through me. Notice how those words feel as you say that. Do that one for a minute. I create my products with love. Do that one for a minute. I value my value. I value my value. Do that one for a minute. I love and accept myself fully as I am. Do that one for a minute. Then we'll shift gears a little bit. And then for two minutes, just saying this out loud. And again, noticing how this feels as you hear the words abracadabra in your field. I love and accept the idea of divine love in my life and business. I love and accept the idea of divine love in my life and business. Once we've activated that frequency in your field, then we're gonna move into the next bit of living in the energy of the question and I'll guide you through when we get there. Alrighty, so just inviting you just to take a nice couple of deep breaths. So breathing in for four, breathing out for four. We're gonna move on to the first inner rewiring technique. I'm the kind of person who has 100k cash months, or whatever the amount is for you. I'm just inviting you to repeat that over and over for a minute. Moving on to the second one. I'm aligned with divine love. Love circulates through me. Moving on to the third one, I create my products with love. Beautiful. Moving on to the next one. I value my value. I value my value.
Now moving on to the next one, repeating to yourself, I love and accept myself fully as I am. Just repeating that over and over for one minute. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to shift gears a little bit now. Now I want you to say this out loud. I love and accept the idea of divine love in my life and business. I love and accept the idea of divine love in my life and business. We're just going to say that out loud for two minutes and just notice how your body, your field responds. Beautiful. Welcome back. And from this place, as we've activated this, I invite you to live in the energy of the question, how am I surrounded by love and abundance? How am I surrounded by love and abundance? Breathing in grace and love, breathing out all energies that no longer serve. Feeling what this frequency of love and abundance feels like in your body. And this higher frequency activated the consciousness of your future self. You're asking this question rhetorically as if it's already happened. It's a powerful way to open up the energetic channels for ideas to be downloaded. So just inviting you just to take a moment just to be with this question. Breathe it in. Allow yourself to contemplate it. How am I surrounded by love and abundance? Notice if you get any intuitive ideas now. You certainly will at some point throughout the day. Names may pop into your head. You get to take action.
you're thinking about the actions you can take. See if these ideas feel aligned. Can you reach out to five people who've previously inquired about working with you and give them first dibs on your next invitation, your product sale, depending on what you offer? Can you offer an early bird or an exclusive bonus? Even if your program doesn't start till September. What action can you take now so that you'll start to bring in your desired monthly income in the first two weeks of each month? Take a moment just to allow these ideas to, to come to you, you notice what you notice. How is everybody feeling? Let me know in the comments how you're feeling. Hungry. <laughs> There's a lot of energy moving around. We've got all the sensations coming in. This is awesome. This means energy has shifted. So set the intention to calibrate easily and effortlessly. Also, yes, feeling much more open, feeling the energy of freedom. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. I right, need to think about what your takeaway is from our time together today. I hope that this has served you. We have harnessed the power of the Lionsgate portal to bring you into coherence with the six success codes. We've been focusing on activating that divine love within you, really inviting you now to integrate this and to notice what you notice and what ideas come to you so you can really embody this. And I have an invitation for you. Many of you already booked in with me, which has been wonderful to book your energetic alignment audit. And on this call, we'll uncover the fastest path from where you are today. We'll find out what is the energetic block that's in the way, get you in alignment, I'll help you to focus on what you need to focus on in this masterclass, in this wealth activation for you. You can scan the QR code to book in. My diary is very booked and also I'm not in the time zone in the UK anymore. And so the time slots are smaller <laughs> that we have available to you. So you have to book in quick. Awesome. Thank you. Mo has shared the the link to book the energetic alignment call in the chat as well. I mean, your awareness is less resistance. I've been seeing my growth since your program, healing with more ease. Yes. You are so welcome. So welcome. Well, thank you so much for, for joining me today. And for those of you that are ready for your next step and would like to go deeper, then I would love to invite you. I'm so excited. We have, we are launching our first membership, the Dream Big Membership on the 14th of August. And we are celebrating this launch with a full activation of these divine success codes. So Mo will pop the, the link in the, in the chat for you. It's just $47 a month. There's no tie-in. So you can come and join us for our launch party and then leave if you don't want to stay, but I know that you want to stay. You will learn how to break through every ceiling in life and business. You'll be able to enjoy rapid results in the next 30 days. You'll have monthly coaching and energetic workshops with me. I have those once a month. You'll receive the divine success codes activations. We're going to have a client attraction accelerator in there for you. 
Kashik Record Activations in there for you. Our world-renowned masterclass breakthrough the money ceiling. And there's so much in here. I forgot about this. I was just seeing my notes here. And you guys are going to be the first to receive my upcoming book. Dun, 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 dun. So that will only be available as members of the, the Dream Bigger membership. So we've just popped the link there for you. Um, I'm so excited to see who is stepping stepping forward. And the intentions of the membership are if you want to change your energy, change your life, create the consciousness of your future self. You want to create fast, predictable results in a peak flow state. You want to melt the energetic blocks to raise your vibrational attraction point. Feel safe in your body as you create the success that you desire. And of course, to dream bigger and to live the dream life. So that's all of that for $47 a month. You can cancel any time off your initial payment. And when you join now with the founding member rate, because the price will increase soon, um, then you're grandfathered in at that rate. That rate doesn't change for you um, whilst you're whilst you're a member. If you leave and then come back again later, you'll you'll get whatever rate it is at that that moment in time. If that makes sense. So so excited to welcome everybody to the dream member dream uh, bigger membership. As I said, the first event is on the 14th of August. We'll be launching with our Divine Success Codes activation, which I'm so excited to share that with you. And for those of you that are wanting to go deeper and to work more closely together, we have our member menu of services here for you. So we've got the relationship codes where you can experience the thrill of upgrading your relationships for your next level of wealth, happiness and success. We've got the inner circle, which is energy psychology coaching for successful consultants, visionaries, coaches, entrepreneurs that are looking to accelerate their growth with holistic success in wealth, health and relationships. So everybody in the inner circle will get the relationship codes and the wealth portal and the body, which I'm so excited about. And then, of course, we have our certification program, Seed Access of Mastery and the Kashuk Records certification as well. And we've got Lionsgate portal savings for you that are available until the 15th of August. So if you'd like to find out more about these uh, these invitations, then just pop a comment in the chat. Or, of course, you can email us at clientcare at louisahavers.com or send us a DM and we'll get the, the, the links over to you. Um, as I said, we've got incredible Lionsgate portal savings for you that are available until the, the 15th of August. And if you're wanting to work privately with me, I do create bespoke offerings for you. We have six and 12 month containers and uh, of course, VIP days as, as well. So just pop a comment in the in the chat or, or DM us, email us uh, to receive all the juicy details and of what we're up to and uh, we'll get the information over to you so you can make, a, make an aligned decision either way. And if you're unsure which is most aligned for you, um, then just book in a call. Let me know what you're contemplating. We'll make sure you've got all the details. We can have a chat about your next step so you can make an aligned decision either way. All righty. Well, thank you so much for joining me. With that, that is a wrap. I would love to know how you are all feeling, what your biggest takeaway is. Are you feeling calibrated? Are you feeling energized? Are you feeling enthusiastic? Are you really feeling the divine power that you have within you for your multidimensional manifesting? Happy Lionsgate. It has been my highest honor to serve you. We're going to leave the room open for a bit so that you can grab all the links and all the things. Book in your energetic alignment call if you haven't had one already. Have got limited capacity, so be sure to get yours in. And I will see you all very, very soon. Much love. Take care.